Hey guys, it's Nora. I'm back in California and I have another fun adventure planned for us today. I'm gonna be using my scuba tank and my metal detector to hopefully find some lost treasure. And I'm actually at a spot that you guys recommended to me. So let's grab our gear, jump into the water and see what we can find. Yeah. Closest to us. Yeah. Big sailboat? Yeah, yeah. I dropped a piece of stainless that would probably cost me a hundred bucks to replace. It's part of my stay. It's like oh. the thing goes through. How deep is that right there where the boat is? Fifteen feet maybe at the most. Fifteen? You want me to try most? to get it? That'd be huge. Really? Yeah, my wife's on board. If you do get it, give it to her and I'll be back in an hour or two and I'll pay for it. Oh you don't need to pay me for it, but I'll grab it. So it's just a piece of metal, how piece big is of stainless. It? about that big it's a um, piece of threaded and there's like an eye and then there's a thing that a pin goes through that holds that back piece of wire that goes down to the back of the boat she's gonna freak out if she's a scuba diver not even, pop out. Not no. even. Just, tell, just tell her what you're doing okay what's your tell name randy randy i'm nora okay Jeez, I'll, Nora, thank you i'll say randy sent me all right let's see if we can find randy's stainless steel piece that he dropped since I'm gonna be helping Randy find his stainless steel piece, I'm gonna bring my dive buoy, because there are boats out there, and I wanna make sure they're able to see me under the water. So this is a good thing to have when you're diving around boats. Before I continue with today's adventure, I'd like to first stop and thank Hohem Tech for sponsoring today's video. As most of you know, I already own the iSteady Mobile Plus Gimbal and the iSteady X Gimbal, but now they've come out with the iSteady X2. This gimbal is super cool because it comes with a little remote control, making it very easy for you to take photos or video if you're by yourself and you don't want to keep running back and forth to the camera. I can control the video button, the shutter button, the pan, the tilt, and I could even center the gimbal. Another cool feature that this little remote has is I could actually switch from horizontal to vertical with a touch of a button. If you don't want to use the remote control, you can still use the buttons. They're all still here. You have the pan, tilt, shutter button, and rotate button all on the handle. Not only does the iSteady X2 come with a mini remote, but it also has face tracking mode, moment mode, and you could actually use this as an emergency power bank if your phone dies and you need a recharge. Once again, thank you so much Hohem Tech for sponsoring today's video. Videos like this would not be possible without our sponsors, so I really appreciate you guys. Now let's get back to today's adventure. This is a real workout, guys. I'm getting closer. I tried to get Randy's wife's attention, but she didn't hear me calling her. I took a quick dive under the boat to see if I could spot the stainless steel piece from above, but I couldn't see much and decided to swim back to shore. The spirit of Dana Point. That's pretty cool. Pirate ship. Ooh, 
I won't be needing my dive buoy anymore since I'll be within the swimming area. So before I started metal detecting, I tried to recover this metal piece for Randy, which is the owner of one of the sailboats. He had asked me to see if I could find it. I dove down, I couldn't see anything, and I just didn't feel comfortable looking for it because I couldn't get his wife's attention and she didn't know I was diving under the boat. I didn't want her to accidentally start the engine or something and it was just freaking me out that she didn't know I was under the boat. So I wasn't able to return that piece to Randy, unfortunately. I really wanted to grab it for him, but I couldn't get it done. All right, let's take a closer look at what I found today. All right, so I'll start with my trash finds. I found some sort of knob. This is probably from one of the boats. It probably fell off from the stove or something like that. A rusty washer, a Corona bottle cap, and this piece of rusty metal. <laughs> Next, I have coins. 
couple dimes, three pennies. The oldest coin is this 1973 penny. Next I have a golf ball. A mystery piece of metal. I believe this is like an old chain link. It's pretty rusted. I thought this was a rock at first, but you can see it's been very encrusted and it's in the shape of a link. Maybe it's a piece from an old pirate ship. And my favorite find of the day is definitely this old bottle. I have no idea how old it is. If anyone knows, please let me know. But it looks so cool. I've never found a bottle like this and I wasn't really expecting to find it. It says no return and no deposit on top. And I thought there was some other text maybe on the bottom. Um, on the bottom it says not to be refilled. So not to be refilled, no return and no deposit. Wow, they just didn't want you to reuse this bottle, I guess. Around the neck it says one quart. And I wish it had a date on it, but it doesn't. So cool though. But yeah, let me know if you know more about this. I was really surprised that I didn't find much at the beach today. I barely got any signals there and I was a little disappointed actually. All right guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Buy the merch. If you wanna support the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bite your face. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. This is a remote. This is not a chew toy. <laughs> oh, he's getting angry. He's getting angry.